is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS AM 1160, 101.1 FM. Our very nicely lined up group of students from Homer Center High School visiting us here this morning and our visit powered by the Allied Milk Producers, powered by Milk Indeed, 944 in the morning. Morning, ladies. Morning. Morning. Are, are there no guys in the band at Homer Center? <laughs> what is going on with you? Uh, the Homer Center band members are joining us here this morning. Uh, each of Just so we get you all on, uh, each of you step up to one of those two microphones and introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Mackenzie Aron. Mm -hmm. I'm Katie Burgess. Okay. I'm Michaela Rouser. Uh -huh. I'm Annalise Spay. I'm Gersan Bush. And I'm Emily Marshall. Okay, there you go. When you're on this mic, you, you have to get out your big voice. Do, do each of you have little brothers or older brothers or sisters? Yep. All right, pretend you're yelling at them when you're talking into that <laughs> microphone, and you'll be perfectly fine. So um, and you guys are not only members of the Homer Center Band, you're award-winning members of the Homer Center Band because the band keeps winning awards. You want another one this weekend? Uh, who's going to talk to me about that? <laughs> throw me under the bus <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got that chore didn't yeah. you <laughs> so tell me about it so this this past weekend we went to Johnstown and we actually hosted the uh, regional championships mm -hmm. and we competed and we won first place wow uh, uh, the regional championships means uh, out of uh, what how many counties do you know offhand tons of them huh about a dozen. About a dozen counties. Yeah. Wow, that's tremendous. Uh, and, and so you won. You were the host school. Does that mean you were the defending champs too? <laughs> <laughs> it depends on who hosts. We are. We, were we, we are, yeah. We are yeah. defending champs. So. You can brag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is our third us. in the row. That's who we are. That's what we're all about. Exactly. Uh, so the Homer Center marching, was this the whole band? Yeah. Yeah, and it was an outdoor marching competition. It as was. Well? Yeah. Yeah. Wow! Congratulations. Thank uh, you. So that's that's tremendous, uh, and that's not only you're you're actually going to another championship, and it's we even bigger. We are. We are. It is the Atlantic Coast Championships. Mm -hmm. Um. So we'll be competing against nine states. Nine states. Yes. And where will it be held? Camp Hill. Camp Hill, PA. Yep. Uh huh. And when? Uh, this Saturday. This Saturday. Yeah. So you are going to get on the bus after Friday's football game? We are. And uh, and you're going to sleep all night? Oh, yeah. <laughs> on the bus? Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> because you have to be in Camp Hill at what time? Oh, probably nine. About nine, nine in the morning? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of sleeping going on for you girls. No. Uh, <laughs> no. For, or for the band as well. I was saying to uh, Jack Benedict and Chuck Clark earlier this morning that, uh, you know, I've sat upstairs and watched the homecoming parade, and you guys were fantastic. We've got some really good bands in Indiana County, but uh, oh my goodness, you guys were good. Thank, Thank you. You were good. Fantastic. So I want to find out from each of you what you play and what, what year in school you are as well. So we can start with you. All again. right. Well, I play mellophone and I'm in 11th grade. Okay. Well, we ought to re-identify yourself so listeners. Will oh, okay. Well. I'm Emily Marshall. I play mellophone. I'm also a drum major uh -huh. and I'm in 11th grade. In 11th grade. Very good. Um, I'm Gerson Bush. I play baritone in marching band. I'm in 11th grade, and I'm assistant drum major. Oh, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Um, I'm Annalise Spade. I'm in 9th grade, and I play mellophone, and I'm also an assistant drum major. Uh-huh. I'm Michaela Rouser. I play snare, and I'm a senior. Mm -hmm. My name's uh, Katie Burgess, and I'm in Color Guard, and I'm a co-captain of the Color Guard. Okay, and what year are you? Oh, sorry, I'm a senior. Okay. <laughs> I'm Mackenzie Roan. I'm also in Color Guard. I'm the other co-captain, and I'm a senior. And you're a senior. Okay, so we have three seniors with us, right? Yes. All right. You three seniors, tell us about your experience as a member of the band, because you don't start this in 10th or 11th grade. You start when you're in elementary school, don't you? Yeah. So I think all of us started in 6th grade, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, Katie started in 5th grade. But um, we it's the band program has come a long way from when we were in it we were just talking about it the other day um our first show we kind of just like stood still for every song and then we would run to the next set that we had to be in and then stand still for that song and then run to the next set and this uh year we had 30 sets we had 40 sets of um, oh, yeah. drill that we moved and marched with the show so it's a big difference yeah between what it used to be. It's come a long way. Yeah, and it's, it's precision marching, too. So Doc, uh, Mr. Stolars is off here to the left of us, of, of me, to your right. <laughs> so so how tough is he? Is he really tough? Um, he's not really <laughs> tough, but, like, closer to the end of the season, like, with the big championship coming, we do get more yeah. 
in like the nitty gritty. Yeah, it gets a little bit more intense. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. So let's talk to some of some of the others of you who play instruments or march in the band in some form or another, uh, and and find out what it's been like for you. Now you three are seniors. Uh, we've got what two juniors and a freshman over here. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the freshman and come up and and tell us. Uh, you've been in marching band since how long? Sixth grade. Since sixth grade, and uh, marching with the high school band since. Sixth grade. Since sixth grade. Also, sixth graders can march as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's terrific. Uh, that, so you're a veteran. Yeah. This is your fourth year? Yeah. Wow. Wow. And uh, think back to when you were starting out in sixth grade and where you are now. Um, how confident were you then and, and how much more confident are you in your abilities now? Um, well, my first year in marching band, I played clarinet. So I've changed instruments since I began. And my first year, um, we did have like we did have more sets than like they did their first year. But it was not anywhere like where we are now yeah and it's like it's come a long way and it's a lot more like our show is a lot more interesting too mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what about our juniors that are with us here this morning let's let's learn about your experiences with band as well when did you start and uh, what's it been like for you as a member of the band for all these years well we both started in sixth grade and it's just it's been amazing to watch the growth of the band watching the confidence and the support that everyone shares. I don't think it would be possible to do what we do if we didn't have the older kids looking out for the younger kids, the younger kids being excited. Um, the support from the directors we get is absolutely amazing. It's just like a big family. Yeah, so yeah. It's been great to watch grow from a couple kids to... 70 to what it is now it's yeah. it's tremendous it's it's fun is it is it fun for you as well yeah, yeah absolutely all right <laughs> not very talkative here this morning mr stolars come on over and grab a microphone for us uh, because we've heard what they think uh what do you think because uh, this it really has become a, quite the phenomenon at homer center it has uh we've had a pretty good run uh recently and we've we've really built the program up from where it once was um i know when i started which is around the same time my current seniors uh started we had 17 kids in this marching band program mm -hmm. and you know since then we've developed it up to 75 um and that's a testament to not only the kids and their hard work um, the support of their parents, support of our band boosters, but um, also our school board and administration. Um, you know, we have Dr. Korn who's on his way out out at Homer Center right now. And, uh, you know, I can honestly say without his support and without him really, really being behind the band program, there's no chance that we would be where we are today. Yeah. So I really want to thank him for, you know, everything he's done to help get us where we are. Um, pretty reputable program now. Absolutely. And when we think about it, um, the, the drum corps, I think, is the first thing that uh, came to mind a few years ago. But the fact that it's a completely, totally rounded band uh, is, is a pretty phenomenal thing mm -hmm. for a school of your size. Yes. Yeah. We're a small school. Um, you know, we graduate about 65 kids a year. So uh, for us to put together a you know, 75, 80 person marching band each year is pretty, pretty strong. It's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. So. And it, it all starts in second grade with the recorders, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> How many? Did you all start with the recorder in about second grade? Yeah, yeah they all did. <laughs> yeah. Who's the best recorder player among you? I'm just uh, guessing. Uh, yeah. She's an oboe player, uh -huh. so I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, it's just terrific what, what you've been able to do with that program. Thank you. Uh, and it, it really speaks to the dedication of the students, too, doesn't yes, it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. They're not just playing on Friday nights. Uh, no, this, these kids work hard. This is a year-round thing. Yeah, these kids work hard. Uh, between our marching band and you know, the hours they put in in the fall and the summer, we do two weeks of band camp uh, during the summer, eight hours a day. There's a couple other mini camps that they spend eight hours a day, three days uh, throughout the summer. So they're working hard. And then once we get to the school year, you know, they still have rehearsals every week. Mm -hmm. um, and then once they're done with this, we pack it in for a few weeks and then we hit the ground running for our indoor percussion and color guard programs. Yeah, well, there so you these go. kids are going year round. Yeah, yeah. they and, work hard. And you mentioned them before, but we need to mention them again. Moms and dads are yes. making this happen, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> doesn't happen without them raising money and it doesn't happen without them bringing their kids to practices for sure you, you know how important this segment is it brought mark burdick from upstairs all I the way that. down to visit with us here this morning so he's going to grab a microphone there too i i just wanted to congratulate these guys i was listening upstairs and um i thought i'd stop down because i 
we bump into each other during the football season, and I'm you know covering the games, and we're we're at all the games together. Uh, yet I don't get to other than you know on the air we talk about the band and congratulate them. But here's how far the band has come. I thought I'd share this story because it wasn't like that as John alluded to with 17 members uh, not too many years ago. I'm at Blairsville and we're trying to do our recap of the first half and the band is rattling the windows up there and I couldn't even hear myself (laughs) think. So I say this in a complimentary sense. I had to shut the window during the halftime show, whereas years ago, uh, maybe we needed microphones for the few instruments they had Mm -hmm. uh, to make them audible. So it's been a tremendous success story. Congratulations. I heard about this past weekend, and it just keeps getting better and better. What uh, John, and I think he has a good help or two that he knows well. Uh, (laughs) uh, I'll see her. We'll we'll see her tomorrow. Yeah, we will. Uh, But anyway, congratulations. Keep up the great work. We're proud of you at uh, Homer Center and throughout the, the region, really. Yeah, and, and John, maybe one day he'll actually let them hear you guys playing a song and <laughs> stop giving all those stats at halftime. Every once in a while he gives us a few minutes. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just fantastic, and uh, to see the way the kids just love the program, it must be gratifying to you. It is, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So you're off this weekend to Camp Hill. Camp Hill, yep. Yeah. Is, is it true they're going to get right off the football field and onto the bus? No, You're going to let them go they're, home? They're going to go home for a few hours. Uh, we'll be back at the school 4.30 in the morning, hit the yeah. road. and, and uh... <laughs> You see the, <laughs> the, mouse, hey, the mouse that just dropped open in fear yeah, because you said 4.30. 4.30 in the morning, and they'll hit the road and, uh, and, and you know do our best to see what we can do out there with uh, a lot of high-quality bands. It's going to yeah. be a lot of fun for us. It so, absolutely yeah. it sounds like it's going to be a great trip for you. Sleep on the bus. You'll be fine. No. Okay. <laughs> That's a wonderful story that you've come to tell us. We appreciate it so much, and, and the best of luck in the future, especially with um, with the competition happening this weekend. Thank you. We also had a couple other uh, good luck wishes that we wanted to. Oh, okay. Um, uh huh. Our girl varsity girls volleyball team is playing tonight at the KCAC. They made it to the semifinals, so yeah. just wanted to say good luck to them and mm-hmm. hope they do well. Absolutely. And. and- and our cross country team is also competing in their district championship this weekend, so we wish good luck to them. There you go, wonderful, and our best of luck to them as well, and to you, and and the best of luck to you wherever this takes you. Uh, I would guess that there are going to be more than a few scholarships uh, coming out for musicians in 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 college for from the Homer Center School District for years to come. I would think so. Because of the strength of this program. Wonderful. Ladies, thanks for coming in. Our visit with the Homer Center Schools brought to you by the Allied Mail Producer. You'll be able to watch it on YouTube uh, on our uh, WCCS uh, website as well, Facebook page. There you go. I'll get it right sometime before we're out of here today. Uh, 